I'm just the person who spouts nonsense from his mouth. And that's it. This is also why I skipped the big house. Now we will talk to everyone in the big house and then I'll do story time. Where are you from? Hmm, Twin Leaf. T hmm, Little Root Town, you say? And you came here? And you started your journey here in Twin Leaf Town? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? That lake is said to be home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. That Pokemon may as well be watching over you. Would you like to know a bit more about Mesprit? Sure. Mesprit is the legendary Pokemon that symbolizes the emotions. Beside it all, Yuxi, the being of knowledge, and Azelf, being of willpower, my favorite. These three Pokemon are said to have strong and compassionate spirits. The power of their spirits maintains the natural balance of Sinnoh. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh and is the champion of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interact in these days of myths. Were things different back then or were they the same as now? She says that's the focus of her research. Using the move surf, you'll be able to go to places that were inaccessible. You'd be surprised where you can go. It's an old book, Shadow began reading it. When that, that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. So that's the cunt. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, stirring us into action. Anyway, here we go. So basically, the story that Grandma Cynthia says, uh, the Grandma of Cynthia says, is this. She talks about an ancient hero who way back in the day saved the Sinnoh region from disaster. And there is a statue of him in this very town. However, his statue is a bit damaged because of time gone by. But it, is a, it was a strange visitor from some... I don't know, from somewhere far away, I don't fucking know. But that stranger came into the war, in, to his, uh, to Sinnoh in the ancient times and left when the job was finished. And that was before this land was called Sinnoh, but when it was called Hisui. And basically, that is basically the storyline of the Legend Arceus. This is basically set up for me, because that ancient hero is me. I am that ancient hero. <laughs> That's basically the story. There you go. I, I tried my best. I tried my best. I told you I'm not a storyteller. But I tried my best, like I said. I gave it me all. Alright, where's the fucking ninja boy? Ninja boy. No ninja boy. Ninja boy! But that was the pro that was basically it. That was basically set up for Se for Isui. He had a team of six. But those statues have been damaged. Unknown who they were. And the inscription. Basically everything that was that would reveal that it was me and what my team is in Isui has all been damaged. Outside of that, it is known that this hero saved Isui back in ancient times. Over a thousand years ago, he saved Isui. He saved the Sinnoh region from great disaster. And he even got to meet the one who created Sinnoh itself. But she doesn't believe that part of the story. Rogunk. Oh, good ice score. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to pause this recording again because I need to give Glyscore Aerial Ace back. Shudder in fear, fool. Okay, so there are four people. One, two, three, four. Yep, four people here to fight. Wait, why is there such a long. One, two, three. Oh, also four. Okay. But basically, that would be set up for future stuff. And I'm allowed to do that now because Isui's already out. Alright, so I will be right back when I have fixed up my Pokemon. There you go, I'm back. Oh. 
But I thought it would be fun to have some Isui references in here as well. Likes Kono's aerial is again all beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't have been better even if I tried myself and I did. Oh wait, um uh just because of that, uh yeah. Motherfucker, I wanted to okay. Yeah, that's supposed to be tossed. I need to catch a Pokemon, give it to it, and then delete the Pokemon. But I'm not gonna waste all that time. So let's pretend Aerial Ace is gone. My plan was to give it to Gliscor and then delete it from the team. But yeah, like I said, I thought it would be fun to have some Isui references in this series as well. Where she tells a story of a great hero who once saved the Sinnoh region. Maybe, maybe she did not say Hisui, but she did talk about a great hero who once back in the day saved Sinnoh. When it went by a different name that has been lost to time itself. There you go, that's the one. No, because everybody just called it Sinnoh, and then the people who called it Hisui have forgotten about it. So it was... It, but they did still remember that it went by a different name back in the day. At least the elders do. The people in Celestic Town do. But nobody else does. Oh, come on, what the hell? What is this? What the fuck is this? Why does this keep happening to me? What did I do wrong in this world to have this? Why did you miss? By the way, a highly recommended song from Star Set is Everglow. Just type in Everglow. It's a beautiful song. Highly recommended. But I would recommend almost every Star Set song. Except for the fucking remixes that they had, because they suck completely. I hate them. And also Kashmir. I wouldn't recommend Kashmir either. Fight me, Bard Keeper. But like I said, I wouldn't recommend that because it's so... Like, I don't really like Kashmir. I'm like neutral towards it. But the, And those other two, I'm also kind of neutral towards. But it's more like... I'm not, I would give it like a. F I would give those songs like a, at the maximum potential that they have. A five out of ten. That's a max potential that they got. A fucking five. You know what? I'll give the not so dope remix and the other stupid remix. They released two of those things in uh, in like Vessels 2.0. Where are you? They released like a uh, 2.0 Vessels. Where they had a new version of bringing it down. They had like an acoustic version of Die For You. A telepathic Starlight, Ricochet, Satellite. They had an amazing cover of Love You To Death. And then they had like the telepathic Not Your Dope remix. And then the Satellite The Trials remix. Which, no. No. Why did you do that, Star Set? Why? You done fucked it up. I'm strong, 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 I, uh, am I really? No, I'm strong, I'm strong. Okay, I'm all good to go. Ah, you startled me good. I think you'll understand what I was doing when you see this DM. I don't get it. Let me explain how the moves works without getting too technical. Let's say your opponent raises its defense using Harden. Your op your Pokemon can use Psy up to get the same defense boost as its foe. Basically, your Pokemon gets the same status boost as, stats boost as its opponent. I'll, I'll give it an attempt, why not? Oh my god, three Bronzors! And then you throw two out for a shield on an Ekranidos in the rematch. What the hell is wrong with you? But overall, Star Set has made some really good songs. It's just, I don't... I don't like that stuff. Yeah, okay, that they fucking knew it. I should have known. Now I paid the price. I mean, what? 
What bronze sword would else would you have? Heat proof? Get the fuck out of here. Leave the building now, nobody likes you. What the fuck was that? Di uh -huh. Iron defense with me doing now half the damage. So this would have been a two or three shot if I wasn't stupid. But like I said, like I said, outside of that, I would recommend like every song. Even a song like Earthrise, which is a really good song, but it does kind of remind me of a love song, so I hate it. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. This is why we're mashing the A button, and also speed fast forwarding. Cause I'm sick of you! Oh my god, you didn't level up at all! Oh, glass go away! Glass go away! Glass go away! Here's another night slash, why don't you? See, that's better damage. Okay, better damage just died on the spot. I'm the kind of person who, uh, when he has nothing to do, will just mash the A button. I'm like right now mashing like the LT button to just hope that the barrel battle goes faster. That's me though. No, that's me ADHD that I got inside of me. I cannot sit still, not for a fucking moment. I can't do that. Like I need to move something. Sometimes I just waggle me finger. Aqua Jet! I don't know if we'll make it to, uh... Ooh. That's gonna be difficult. I don't know if, uh, if we'll make it to, uh... Canalave City today. Did you just fucking confuse? Oh my god, the moment that that happens, we're just... Aqua Jet, go, kill it! I hate this. Yeah, I don't know if we'll make it to, uh, Canalave City. It would be nice if we did. But we still have a lot more trainers to fight overall. Where's Jubilee City? North, East, South, West, 218. Not BDSP, fuck off! I need to see how many trainers there are. One, two, three. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Four trainers. Absolutely god awful. However, next thing is also very god awful that I have to do. It's not that we're done with these idiots. We cannot continue on. We cannot progress until we get the Candlelave City Gym match. We cannot go to the land of snow. We cannot let it snow. Till we get to. Till we get to Candlelave City and beat the gym leader Byron. However, I have to touch this thing, which is where the whole the disappointment came from. I need you again, my boy. Just like in the Johto region, I need my flyer. Oh, look at all these Pokemon. Look at all of them. Oh, look at them all. Uh, I also ke ke uh, kept the light ball on Pikachu because I, had, I I can't believe I caught one with a light ball. Like you can see it in hard gold. I caught a Pikachu with a light ball. And I need you, my boy Salamans. It's been so long. It's been too long, hasn't it, my friend? I need you to fly me to Jubilife City. To be honest, I can keep you on the team for the rest of the game until I catch my six Pokemon, obviously. But I won't. You're only here for a shortcut. So that the let's play does not take for fucking ever. Where I have to go all the way around the globe. Wasting so many repels. Oh, I love seeing my other Pokemon. It's like we've come so far on this journey. On the sixth season, but technically fifth. Because in the first season, uh, yeah, the, the characters weren't there. Let's go to Candlelave City, boys. Yeah, we got four people to fight. However, fights could take a while. Oh, you can be sure I'll... Okay, okay. So, you are the one that I need to talk to. Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Pocket Company. Hi, hi. Your patience is rewarded. I've developed a new Pocket app. 
The memo pad. The memo pad can be used for jotting down quick notes if you can write with the fucking mouse. That's the memo pad. It's, well, it is what it is. Hi, I'm the president of Pocket Company. Your base is rewarded. I've developed another app. Here's the marking map app, which you need in order to find those roaming legends. It's a placement of markers. Having a map constantly displayed is convenient. No, you can also mark things, so it's that much more useful. I have having another new Pocket app. It's the Link Searcher. What the hell's that? It determines the availability of wireless hotspots. I think it'll be useful to know how many people are communicating, like in the union room. Like a new app is not quite done. My guess is that it's that it will be ready when you get seven back. How the fuck would you know? I could leave for twenty days. And then get my 7th badge. No, I'll get my 7th badge in time. I'll probably get my 7th badge faster. Now we can surf on the water. I forgot to teach it to me. Floats. I've got so many items. Floats all. You need to surf, my friend. Get rid of that water gun. Floats all you surf. I had a feeling. Pick up a rare candy, very rare. Floats all take me away. I still remember how slow this shit was in Diamond and Pearl. Oh god, I hate those games so much. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. Is he now? Is he now? Who told you those lies? Who said those lies to you, sir? Man Tyke! Another one for the Pokedex? I won't be able to access post-game until I find every Pokemon. This is a baby Pokemon! You should one-shot this baby Pokemon. Oh well. Machoke, okay. I can still icicle fist you. May not be super effective. But it will be much more effective than any other move I got. Now Floats was a fully evolved Pokemon. Who can tank that shit for days. Two. Two days. And then you'll die. Because there's two times. It's the second time you can tank it, but after this, you're dead. Or, you know, that could happen. Yeah, you killed yourself, you s Why? Why did you have to kill yourself? Are you. God damn it! What the fuck, dude? Come on, man. You even killed yourself. You got a critical hit that killed me and took yourself down with me. Why? Damn it, this will not be enough. Whatever. We're just fighting the Cricketune Man over here. Who has also a Magnemite. Alright, Floats, I'll take two. We'll pretend that the last battle didn't happen. Ah, still, you solo the sailor. Surf! Jesus! This game sometimes. This game. Oh boy. Oh boy! This is gonna be a problematic endeavor. Also, that X is so much damage, by the way. Here we go. Surf! Yes! I told you, this was gonna be problematic. But I never said, but highly implied, that it would be for me. And yes. Alright, and now I need to figure out who's who. Who actually is who. 
there are two people, uh, two sailors. Two fishermen, I mean. Who I need to fight. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Two or six? Okay, two or five? Five it is then. You are the Remorate Man, which means Grove House should have been in that fronty slot. Thunderfist. That means the other guy is gonna be the annoying one. Who doesn't just have one? But he's got two Giardos! Oh, wow, sweet. I was hoping you would send it out immediately so I could kill it. Thunderfist! Wonderful job, a one shot. And I am so fucking tired. Am I allowed to speed through up through this battle? Because the rest is just going to be fucking leaf blading. Like I said, I'm actually tired. Alright, let's hope this just goes fast. We'll speed through it. I'm sorry. We'll also speed through this battle. No, I don't have room. Oh god, I already went with the... Sorry, I don't... I, uh... I'm tired, okay, I just needed to get these guys off me back. Off me back. And now we're immediately heading for, uh, Candlelight City. Talk to the people in the one building and then we're... I'm done. Like I said, I got shit to do. I gotta eat a bit. I gotta, uh, brush my teeth. I gotta walk the dog. And then I gotta make myself ready for bed. Get myself all dolled up to sleep. Shadow, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. You know, the guy who gave you that fucking experience share? The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I chosen this spot on a hunch that you'd pass through. Shadow, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see. What was it? Was I supposed to put the software here? Hmm. Kachunk, kachunk. All done. I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain what how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? It can now display images of male and female Pokemon. And I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. It, no, not the bomb in like the Great Marsh or the fucking threats in uh, uh, Celestic Town. No. Nope. Probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Probably nothing, you know, that bomb. It happens every day of the fucking week. It's nothing to worry about. Just jokesters being funny. Boy, I sure am thirsty, you again. You've moved over here. Anyway, I'm gonna call the day here. So thank you all so very much for watching. When we come back next time, we will be exploring Candlelave City, battling Barry, going to Iron Island, and taking on that six gym but with that being said if you guys have enjoyed and if you did please like button subscribe if you're new or if you didn't already turn on notifications and as always stay tuned for more bye <laughs>